Okay, and so then we are going on the record in the matter of Royal Woods Townhomes versus Marquia Stevenson, all occupants, 222177. And appearance, counsel? Good morning. Good morning. I'm Cheryl Lockoff on behalf of the plaintiff. All right, thank you. And Ms. Stevenson, if you can please unmute. Thank you. And Ms. Stevenson, your name for the record, please. Marquia Stevenson. Okay, thank you. And so, Ms. Lockoff, this is the date scheduled. Okay, so there was a bankruptcy stay that was entered November of 2022. And then um, there was an order reopening the case after bankruptcy. And so this is the hearing for that. And so, counsel, you had an opportunity to speak to Ms. Stevenson in the breakout room, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And I'd like to create a record right now. Um, so the defendant had her initial hearing on November 4th, and she filed the bankruptcy right before that, that hearing. She was she did appear. She was given her rights. Um, her bankruptcy, she had filed a Chapter 13. It was dismissed for failure to comply. She paid zero into her plan. She had not paid herself. She had not paid the landlord rent since September of 2021. Since that time, she had Sarah payments. She has a balance right now of $12,106, Your Honor. She informed me in the breakout room she's filed another bankruptcy. I don't have any notice of this bankruptcy. There's no bankruptcy attorney here, but that is what she is asserting. We are going to be objecting to any discharge due to because if she filed it, she filed it right before this hearing again. And there clearly seems to be some abuse here, but she can provide the case number for the court. And, um, you know, if a, if a stay needs to be in place, then a stay needs to be in place. But I have no knowledge personally of any bankruptcy and I, my client has not received a notice of bankruptcy proceedings. Okay, Ms. Stevenson, please raise your right hand. Yes, Your Honor. Do you solemnly swear for the testimony of- I filed bankruptcy. I found, I've been filed bankruptcy. Ms. Stevenson, please raise your right hand. Is your right hand raised? I can't see. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you solemnly swear from the testimony about to give this matter to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, and so. Um, Ms. Stevenson, I'm not sure about your connection. It seems to be a little bit spotty, but um, okay. So initially you filed bankruptcy in November of 2023, correct? Yes. And then that was chapter 13, is that correct? Yes. And you were ordered to make payments within that bankruptcy case, correct? Incorrect. That's incorrect? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So chapter 13, were you required to make any payments at all? I fired my lawyer for the chapter 13. I reached out to Royal Woods because the payment plan that he came up with, I did not agree with. So I fired him. I contacted Royal Woods and I told them about my new attorney. And I just gave Miss Lockoff the case number. I don't have the case number. Her connection was spotty. She said 23. That's all I have, Your Honor. Okay. I can give you the Ms. case number, Your Honor. What is the case number? Okay, one second, please. <clears throat> My case number is 23 dash 44007. Okay. When was that case filed? It actually, I contacted them in January, and my lawyer told me to um, contact him when I received the court papers for eviction or a hearing. So I contacted him. And he filed the case last week. And 
And I did contact Royal Woods as well. Who did you speak to? I spoke to um, Andrew at Royal Woods and I informed him and also um, um, a lady named Cheryl at the, um, at the office, at the, uh, what you call it, the corporate office. She emailed me and actually caught me. I told her, I said, I have another case and I don't know why we're going to court. I still need the 30 days, you know, to vacate the premises. She said, okay, we're still going to take you to court. I said, okay, fine. I said, you guys are wasting your time because I'm, uh, I'm, on, I'm on another automatic stay. She's a professional. Um, Your Honor, so are you, respectfully, are you, just, I'm, I'm, I'm just a moment, Ms. Lockoff. Yeah. So are you planning on relocating then, Ms. Stevenson? Ma'am? Yes. Are you planning on relocating then? Could you repeat that, Your Honor? Are you planning yes, on relocating? At my leisure. At, at my leisure. At my That's time. not how that works, ma'am. On your own time. That isn't how this yes, works. Yes, ma'am. To see a bankruptcy. I'm sorry, your connection is not very good. What did you say after bankruptcy? I don't even supposed to be here, Your Honor, and I'm not. I'm. I don't even. I don't even supposed to be here. Why not? This is not bankruptcy court. This is not bankruptcy court. I don't even have to explain myself. Ma'am? I have right. I have right. Well, I, I don't supposed yeah. to be here, Your Honor. You are not a bankruptcy judge. You are not a bankruptcy judge. You are absolutely correct. I am a district court judge, and I have jurisdiction over this matter because we do not have anything in our files or anything that was filed by you or any attorney representing you that would support your claim that you have filed another bankruptcy case. I, I'm, I gave you guys the case number on record so you guys can try me if you want to. Ma'am, where is the documentation regarding your case? You should I have some paperwork. I will Please email stop interrupting me. Off. I will email it Please. to Ms. Lockoff right now. Please stop interrupting me. You can email it to the court at 27DC at yn.mi.gov. One second. Do you want me to do it now? Because I will do it now. Yes, ma'am. We're going to take a brief recess. We're going to go off the record so you can submit that. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Lukoff? I'm here. Okay, I don't know where Ms. Stevenson went. So I'll give her a minute to rejoin. Maybe she had a bad connection. I'm not sure. Do you, um, so I'm going to go on the record just so that there isn't any concern regarding ex parte communication. So we're back on the record of the matter of Royal Woods Town Homes versus Marquia Stevenson 222177. The court will note that the court took a recess um, to retrieve the email that Ms. Stevenson was sending in regarding her claim of a bankruptcy filing. <clears throat> the court will also note that Ms. Stevenson was just on the Zoom and has um, logged off. I'm not sure if her device logged off or she logged off intentionally, I'm not sure. But um, what I would like Ms. Uh, Lockoff, is I'm going to forward this to you as well. Um, but I have a request of you. Do you have access to the bankruptcy court? I do. Um, yes. Okay. So I would like if you could please um, access Ms. Stevenson's November of 2022 case. Okay. Um, and if you, if there's a, uh, a register of actions of some sort, if it goes through and spells out what that is, if you can um, email that over to the court, please. So you want the actual petition that she filed in November? Not necessarily the petition. But, but so for okay. instance, so like our like our docket, right? You can see a register of action when the matter was filed, what everything that went through sequentially, and then whether or not the chapter 13 agreement uh, was placed on the record or if it was just a signed um agreement and if Miss Stevenson signed that agreement. Okay. 
<clears throat> and then I will note, so I will forward this to you as well um, for your review. This indicate this apparently is a, uh, it was sent to Ms. Stevenson on May 3rd, which was Wednesday at 6.15 PM. And I'll just read it into the record. I'll also get, get you a copy of that as well. It was, it's by Fairmax Law. Dear Marquia Stevenson, your bankruptcy has now been filed. Your case number is 23-44007. Per your discussions with your attorney, the pre-petition services you hired us for are now complete. We completed a bankruptcy analysis, reviewed all of your documents, and filed a skeletal bankruptcy petition. You now have 14 days to complete your bankruptcy filing or else your case may be dismissed. As disclosed in your pre-petition pre services agreement, and as explained by your attorney, you have the following three options. One, you may retain our firm to represent you in the post-petition proceedings in your case. You'll be presented with a second retainer agreement whereby your attorney for services, including the following, <clears throat> and then it goes on to talk about um, preparation of filing of my statement of financial affairs and schedules, preparation for and attendance at my section 341 meeting of creditors, review of any redemption agreements, review, of any reaffirmation agreements, follow through with case administration monitoring, and conduct a post-discharge review of my credit report to ensure accurate reporting. The other option is you may seek to retain other legal counsel, or you may proceed without legal representation. Then it goes on to <coughs> um, any costs would not be owing or not. So um, bless you. So Ms. Stevenson is now logged back in. So um, I just admitted her from the breakup from the waiting room. It shows that she is joining. Okay. What do you right, want so me I to do? I, I just wanted to be able to see you. That's all. I can see you now. So I did receive your email um, regarding the communications from Fairmax Law. So I'm going to forward that to uh, reporting that to Ms. Walkoff. And then Ms. Luckoff is accessing your previous case so that she can um, send a copy of the register of action to the court so I can review that. So, um, because this appears as though there is a skeletal bankruptcy petition and you still have 14 days before your case is actually filed or dismissed. So it doesn't appear as though there's a bankruptcy case at this point that would require this court to issue a stay to comply with the stay. Nor has there been a stay presented to this court. I don't I don't know what y'all talking about, but I don't I don't mean to I don't mean to I'm interrupt sorry, you're you. breaking up. I can't you're you're breaking Your up Ms. Honor, Stevenson. But I my case Ms. Stevenson my, my case I didn't has... hear Ms. Ms. Stevenson I'm not catching a lot of what you're saying because because it's a bad connection. So I'm not catching everything you're saying. So can you please move locations? Okay, so Ms. Lockoff, are you still there? Oh yes, I am here. Oh, okay, so um, we are going on the record in the matter of Royal Woods Town Homes versus Marquia Stevenson, all occupants, 222177. Okay, and so counsel, your appearance, please. Again, for the record, Your Honor, Cheryl walk off on behalf of the plaintiff. Okay, thank you. And so, um, Ms. Stevenson is not present anymore. She was on, she logged off, she logged back on. And then I asked her to redo her connection. She said just a moment and then she logged off. And I think it's been about another 15 minutes and she's not logged back on. So. I'm continuing in this matter without Ms. Stevenson. And so, um, Council, we, I did receive the um, history regarding Ms. Stevenson's case from case number 2248279. So, I have a couple questions. And one is when was the um, the 2022 case was filed October 19th of 22, correct? The that landlord tenant right. matters? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And so that's important to note because then this 
Petit chapter 13 petition was filed and entered on October 21st. Now, Ms. Luckoff, prior to filing this action in October of 22, did you provide Ms. Um, Stevenson with the notice to quit? She received a seven day demand for possession. Yes, Sorry. Your Honor. Okay. All right. So, my other question is this Can you tell me if in the bankruptcy court system, is there another case that was filed on behalf of Ms. Stevenson in the year of 2022? Let me take a look. Hang on. I do not see another 2022. I see a 2019 which again <laughs> was dismissed. Um, she did not receive a discharge. It was a chapter 13, it looks like. And okay. then, so no, to answer your so, question, no. Okay, so that's important to note because um, I'll go into that in just a moment. So the court will note that the uh, that Ms. Stevenson indicated that she, Hired a new attorney in January for the, to file a new bankruptcy case. But then she had to wait for her paperwork in this case before the attorney could file the bankruptcy action, which I find interesting because this the bankruptcy case wasn't dismissed until March 6th of 2023. And then the final decree and the case was closed April 25th of 2023. And I'm not quite sure how um, another case could have been filed prior to that without the 22 bankruptcy case being closed. I'm not a bankruptcy expert, nor Am I a judge? Is that that's been established? Oh, here's Miss Stevenson logged in again. <clears throat> and so the court will have her place her name on the record in just a moment. Okay, Miss Stevenson. Can you please unmute? I'm sorry about that. I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully you have better, hopefully we you have better connection right now. Okay. So the court will note the um, that, so I was just going through the procedural history and based upon your 22 bankruptcy case, your case was dismissed March 6th of 2023. And, but the final decree and the closing of the case wasn't until April 25th of 2023. And um, it indicates that the order, the United States Bankruptcy Court, Eastern District of Michigan, Southern Division, Detroit, signed by Judge Maria Axel, the United States Bankruptcy Judge, indicates that the matter was scheduled for hearing on March 6th of 2023. And an oral motion to dismiss by the Chapter 13 trustee was not opposed, and was not opposed by the debtors who were present or counsel represented them. It was dismissed for poor pay history, which was 0%. And therefore the case was dismissed and automatic stays issued were terminated. The court um, will also note that the documentation that was submitted by Ms. Stevenson to the court indicated that there was a skeletal bankruptcy petition that was filed. And Ms. Stevenson, what date was that skeletal bankruptcy petition filed? You're muted, just so you know, you're muted. Please unmute. I... I'm sorry, what? What are you talking about? Well, your attorney, on your 23 bankruptcy case, filed a pre filed a skeletal bankruptcy petition. What date was that filed? It was filed completely. I don't know what that word means that you're saying to me. 
I'm what is the category? I'm reading from the document that you sent to the court. Your attorney stated that they completed a bankruptcy analysis. The document that I sent is excuse me, excuse me. Is that, please, that, stop, that is, please, please stop interrupting the court because I can't like, record more than one person at a time. Miss Stevenson is no longer on here. She dropped off. The court did not remove her. I'm just making that a record right now. Miss Stevenson, please unmute. You guys will not let me say anything in this courtroom. Just one moment. Just one moment. Your connection has not been good. And when you start answering a question, I'm not hearing everything you're saying, so I'm asking you to stop talking. Okay, so well, I'm you talking can... right now. I am talking Excuse right me. now, Your Honor. I'm talking. No, you're not talking. I just muted you. Now, please stop because I see that you're still talking. You can continue to waste your breath. I muted you because your connection is poor. I cannot hear what you're saying because it's breaking up. So, have you moved to a new location? Have you moved to a location that you have better connection? Just so you know, I muted you, so you'll have to unmute. I'm gonna type you in chat. So, you can't hear me, I'm gonna type you in chat. I'm sorry, what is that? I'm going to type you in chat. No, we don't have chat enabled, ma'am. You cannot send okay. a message to the chat. Well, I'm letting you know I'm not supposed to be here. My bankruptcy has been filed. No, ma'am, ma'am, that is My not My bankruptcy has been filed. You Excuse me. The bankruptcy. If you do anything or try to get this Excuse me. You need to calm down. Excuse me. You need to, you need to calm down, ma'am. I have an attorney. I have an attorney. Okay, Miss Stevenson, you can excuse me. Well, the court muted Miss Stevenson because we can't catch much of what she's saying. Miss Stevenson, stop talking. Stop talking. We cannot get what you're saying on the record because you're screaming and you don't have a good connection. So stop talking, please. Stop talking. You are stop talking. You are stop. I am not one of your children, ma'am, so you need to stop. You are speaking to a court. You are in court. So you need to have some respect for the court. So as I was saying, Miss Luckoff, there is not another case that Ms. Stevenson filed in 2022. The court will note that, um, actually Ms. Lockoff, can you pull up the names, um, the bankruptcy court filing to see when this um, bankruptcy petition was filed, please? This, this, this see if it was one? before May 3rd? Yes. Okay. The case yeah. number is 23-44007. Okay. Okay. This says date filed 4-30-2023. 4? Oh, excuse me, 4-30, Your Honor, 4-30. On a Sunday? That's what it says. Let me just, okay. I'm going to open the petition here. See what we have here. See if that comports. Yes, it says 4-30-2023. Okay. All right. So what the court um, will note, counsel, is since there was not, or since there was only one case filed in 2022, well, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, when you open up the case, does it show if there is any motion that was filed? along with the petition? Let me 
book here. Okay, so it says petition, statement of social security number. I won't read you the whole thing, but um, let's see. Uh, no, notice of missing documents. Um, there's no, I do not see a motion, Your Honor. Okay, so. Um, you guys, you so, guys mess with me if you want to. I'm letting you know this now. I'm letting you know this now. I'm letting you know to stop interrupting the court or you will be held in contempt of court. Stop. 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 The court is going to state that um, the petition was filed on April 30th. So there's 14 days to file the balance of what needs to be filed, which puts it to May 14th. And so counsel, because there was only one action filed in 2022, there is a 30 day automatic stay that uh, was triggered. So I cannot enter a judge stay. But what I will do is I'm only going to set this out for two weeks, well, less than two weeks, because I'm going shortly after the 14 days by which the balance of the documents need to be filed or the bankruptcy is dismissed. I'm not going out 30 days right now. So the 30th day would be on May 14th. We don't have a docket on May 19th because of the mandatory judicial conference. So counsel, are you available on May 16th? at 1 30 in the afternoon i will make myself available your honor and we are doing this in person the only thing i need to confirm give me one second is i have an in-person nope that's on the 15th okay you guys can contact my lawyer excuse me miss stevenson your lawyer has not filed an appearance here at all so he will. your lawyer doesn't have Excuse me, then that's fine. You're, then your attorney will know how to proceed. You need to be here in person on May 16th at 1.30 p.m. Why? Because the court is going after the 14 days. We're setting this after the 14 days to make sure if the bankruptcy case is still proceeding or if it's been dismissed. So that is why the court is set why will my for case May 16th. Stop interrupting, Stop interrupting me. May 16th at 1 30 p.m. I will not be there. Well, if you're not here, not the court will proceed without you. You can have your attorney present, but you need to also be present. So May 16th at 1 30 p.m. in person at the courthouse here. Thank you. We're off the record. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I won't be here. 